welcome to another modern gameplay so today we'll be bringing you big and thick that's right we're playing crashing footfalls in modern we want to create early rhinos so crashing footfalls states that it's four so spend one green and it creates two four four green rhino creatures tokens with trample into play all right we cheat them in on turn two or turn three via violent outburst violent outburst states that um it's instant and it has cascade and creatures you control gets plus one plus zero until end of turn plus we also have shardless agent a reprint in modern horizons 2 that's why the deck is very consistent in what it's trying to do because we want to cascade into crashing foot false that means that all our spells must be three to cast or more this is where our brazen borrower comes into play in tandem with bone crusher giant and all our spell removals or tempo gaining aspect is in the card fire and ice also reprinted in modern horizons 2 obviously we have jace the mind sculptor an all-star favorite for this type of archetype and two counter spells in the form of four force of negation and three cryptic command how awesome is that finally we have subtlety this is a new mythic rare in modern horizons 2 it's for to cast flash flying 3-3 three, three, and it states that we may exile a blue card from our hand so that we can evoke it and it states that put one target creature spell or planeswalker spell its owner puts it on the top of or the bottom of their library so basically it delays creature response or planeswalker response to our deck very straightforward what the deck aims to do is to put big muscle into play and protect it via counter spell or removal spell or bounce effects that's it now onto the sideboard it's the most linear sideboard i've ever seen we have four mystical disputes for those pesky counter spell decks ley line of the void four of them for those graveyard recursion decks especially with those food decks coming into play anger of the gods to make sure that we have answers to low to the ground decks blood moon for those greedy decks that has a lot of mana colors and finally ley line of sanctity for those burn matchups and discarder matchups all right that being said let's go to the gameplay all right we want the die roll we're gonna go first we're against norath decay nice 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 hmm looking at our turn one play um yeah why not we're gonna keep we have a good curve we don't know what our opponent is playing we do have a stomp for that early ragavan if ever there is one ragavan ragavan oof that's not what we wanted to see end of turn we're gonna do a fetch we're gonna go for steam vents tapped draw a card that's a rhino over there uh, not really what we wanted to see but what, what i wanted to see was a uh, turn into a rhino here um i guess i'll just probably settle for an upkeep tap on the power plant so let's go set stop step set stop there get a gemstone cavern in that's the turn on upkeep i'm going to cast ice let's draw some cards nicely done that's the turn okay oh they're not going for the normal tron so i can go with i think next turn they'll probably go with a thought not seer so i need double red i don't think life would matter too much this time so i'm gonna go with a stomping ground shock it in shardless agent get a crashing footfalls ah, let's cast without paying mana cost yes definitely coolness all right yep eldrazi displacer okay chalice for zero sure we do have brazen borrower to take care of that so the question becomes 
Ooh, another fire and ice. Power plant, power plant. So we're far away from things that are going to happen too much. I mean, I can trade with this, no problem. So let's go and attack first. Hmm. Thought process here. We can play a land, put a crushing footfalls here. Tap this. Hmm. Downside is they get if they get another matter shaper. Okay. Let's go for something that has blue. Yes, shop that in. Going to stomp. Yep, let's see what they get. Warping Whale. That's cool. We are going to top this on their upkeep. Going to attack. Going to take that damage. Warping Whale says that. Counter target sorcery. Okay. Coolness. Coolness. And then from there, we can now ice. Ice. Yep. And then from there, win the game. <laughs> Ooh, subtlety. Nice. Mm -hmm. Blast zone. Not going to save you. Warping whale. Sure. We do have a lot plus. Yeah, I think we have this in the bag now. Now just going to attack here. Down to two. Here's a stomp. Showing them as less cards as possible. Let's begin sideboard. This is where our Blood Moon may come into play. Hmm. Is Force of Negation a thing that we want here? I mean, the deck is very linear, so... The only thing I want to put in are Blood Moons. We can remove a Footfalls and a Violent Outburst. That's it. Nothing else. Let's go. Ooh, nice. Kind of like this. Hmm. We're gonna keep. We have a turn to play. We're gonna keep definitely. Yes, we're gonna get with this. Okay. Exile a card from our hand. So I want to go with Crashing Footfalls. Mm-hmm. Chalice for zero. Uh, sure, why not? We do have an end of turn brazen borrower, so that's fine. Oh, Eldrazi into an expedition map. Cool, 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 cool. Cardless agent, two of them. This one says I can. Gemstone mine, all right. Okay, should probably go with Eldrazi. End of turn. Here's a Brazen Borrower. Petty Theft on your Chalice. Yep. I will probably shock this in. Here's a Shardless Agent. Cascade into A. Crashing Footfalls. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> yep, there you go. Then from there, let the beatdown commence. Mm -hmm. That's a temple. Short. Okay. Dismember. Okay. Expedition map. Okay. Fair enough. It's a violent outburst. We're going to attack here. Reason why I didn't... Oh, shocks. I forgot that this is a legendary thing, so... It's, it's my bad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> didn't read the card. Okay. Four. Thought not seer. Sure. Yep, end of turn. Gonna cast a borrower. Oh, nice. Then from there, just going to attack. This is going to be one, two, 
they're going to trade five six all right okay that's fine you're down to five we got the mysterian forest we're gonna play this land i'm gonna pass the turn do have a force of negation nicely done nicely done ha <laughs> ha Big Thick Creatures does it again. Alright. I'll see you in the next gameplay. Alright. We still want the die roll. Okay. We're gonna go first. Yes. Mmm. Very tempting. Okay. We're gonna keep... <laughs> fire and Ice. Fire and Ice. Misty Rainforest. Stomping Ground. Sure. 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 Let's play a Misty Rainforest. as the turn. Okay. Let's see what our opponent is playing. We don't, don't have a... Companion. So we're against a Tural Turalyon map. Glimmer Void. Ooh, this is our first probably artifact deck. Spring Leaf Drum. That's a lot of drums. End of turn. We're gonna fetch. Let's start with a breeding pool tapped. Oh, okay. So, to be not so suspicious, let's put another Misty Rainforest. <laughs> okay. Right. Frogmite Affinity. Cool. Another blue. Draw two cards. Right, right. It's kind of cool. End of turn. We're gonna fetch for a lot of damage. Here's a Bone Crusher Giant to stomp. Oh, it's a violent outburst just to be violent. Yep. Ooh, cast without paying my casting cost. Let's go. Two, two, five, fours. Okay, Spring Leaf Drum. Another Thought Monitor. Okay, that's a lot of monitors. Ooh, that's a big boy. It's a 4-4. Four, four. And can regenerate, I guess. Cranial plating. Wow. Okay. Hmm. That's a petty theft. Okay. Ooh. I think I kind of like this. So we're going to petty theft in this just to return it to hand. Get that tempo in. Shock this in. Then attack with the rhino. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's another big boy. Sure. Spring leaf drum. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's see how big is this. Oof, 13. 13. And can they glimmer void? Okay let's fire they could regenerate okay sure down to two mm -hmm. draw a card okay, that's a scalding darn so i think i can block here and then just ice this it'll be down to one don't think this is flying right yeah. go and attack Play land. Pass the turn. Bubble me. We're down to two. Urza, sure. An ornithopter, sure. And another cranial plating, sure. I think we got this in the bag though, if that's the case, right? Combat, we're going to fetch first. We're down to one. Here's an island. We're going to ice. Tap a creature, draw a card. Subtlety, okay. Cast this, borrower. All right, we got it. <laughs> down to one. Let's begin sideboard against their deck honestly i don't think we have anything against their deck maybe an anger of the gods I, uh what does it say can't be regenerated hmm maybe 
but i think the best way here is just to remove some force of negation <laughs> i don't think that would do us any good here yep for anger of the gods and that's it let's go thick boys let's go Ooh, not what you wanted at all that's three crashing footfalls we're gonna mulligan definitely this one is it quick enough probably we're gonna keep it's not a good keep definitely i'm just riding at the back of this anger of the gods let's see if they can turn one vam vomit their their hand again memnite yeah 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 seems fair <laughs> okay uh, what do we want here probably a wooded foot heels right yeah okay door we trust bobble i'm gonna take two damage here another bobble takes take two damage okay Let's go with the events tapped. Okay. They're gonna bubble us. Oof, that's a lot of lands. Okay. Scalding Tarn. Pass the turn. Okay. We're gonna draw two cards. Hopefully, we survive the onslaught. Okay. I'm gonna take five damage definitely not okay but something that we have to live with this time probably go with red mana source here's petty tef building jar hopefully they don't have any counter spell otherwise we are doomed all right let them have it nice <laughs> cool and we're not yet out of the woods though six welding jar another land oh they didn't have anything which is good for us this is a island I'm gonna pass okay is there mana flooding is that it Cast the borrower. I want to get some equity with my subtlety. Going to attack. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, that's a big boy. Definitely a big boy. Big boy, go back to hand. It's on top or bottom of the player's library. Oh, subtlety puts it back on the player's library. Nice. Okay, here's Stomp on you. Here's a Bone Crusher Giant. Misty Rainforest. Pass the turn. Okay, so they brought it back to hand. Okay, sure, I guess. What happened? Cool. Question mark. Let's go with a Stomping Ground Tap or Breeding Pool. Let's go with a Breeding Pool Tap. Here's an attack with everything. Probably trade here. Oh, I forgot about that. Stomp down to one. Here's a land past the turn. Okay, one in ten. Oof, thought monitor. Yikes, this could be their comeback and they'll be down to one. Oh no, not like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They could definitely take care of us. Um, if they can take care of like a Bone Crusher Giant, but I doubt they could return it back to hand. But still, I'm just going to stomp them if that's the case. The other thing is that I'm just going to attack on the air. Hmm, what could be those two cards? All right. I guess that's uh there's nothing on those two cards uh very good 
um, was a good deck. I think uh, Affinity is making a comeback with the new Affinity cards like uh, Thought Monitor. I'm not quite convinced with the companion right here, um, but everything else feels good. Um, yeah, we won. All right, see you in the next game. All right, we are on the draw this time. We're against K-pop fanboy. Okay. Um, this is definitely a mulligan for me. There's two crashing footfalls. These are our key cards, so we want them in the library. Mulligan. Eh, uh, okay, sure. We're gonna keep. We're gonna bottom. Probably a misty rainforest here. Yes, I'm going to bottom a misty rainforest. Play this card. Okay, discard a forest. Oh, starting it off right with an Urza Saga. Yikes. Violent Outburst. Okay. Let's start with a Spire Bluff Canal. Untap. Now, there's an argument for me to just shock a Breeding Pool, but that looks very suspicious. So let's not do that. <laughs> okay. All right. They can now create a, a thing. Oh, this looks like... This looks to be like... Um, Amulet Titan. I like this deck. An Explorer. Okay. Fair enough for Castle Garen Brig. I love it. I liked it. The downside is that probably they don't have too much creature that can be targeted by Bone Crusher Giant. So I'm just going to end the turn here. Here's a Bone Crusher Giant. Stump you. Okay. Draw a card. Ooh. All right. Hoping for something else, but okay. I guess. All right. They're probably going to go with... Amulet. Yep, definitely. During their main. Elysian of the Dried Grove. Sure. They can now play two more lands. Okay, Gruel Turf. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Seems fair, seems fair. Okay. Right, right. Azusa, lost but seeking. Okay. Oh, I should have saved my stump then. <laughs> Forgot about Azusa. But usually they only play one of these cards. Azusa. Okay, that's a lot. An explorer. So is it worth Force of the Gating? Not really. End of turn. Here's a violent outbursts. Red, green, uh, white. Yes. Cast without paying mana costs. Okay. Cryptic command. We're going to attack here. Force that interaction. Here's a bone crusher giant. There's no point in unless this is specifically fact of summoning abundant harvests uh, i'm going to negate that yep force to block then hopefully if we draw a card here a land card nice we can actually try to win Okay, we won game one. We stole game one, guys. Now let's proceed to game two. Game two, I believe this is where our Blood Moon comes into effect. Hmm, with Blood Moon, what do we take out? We really need our Crushing Footfall to happen immediately. Force of Negation seems reasonable, right? Subtlety also is a great card against their deck. Maybe shaving some fire and ice would do. Yeah, I think two fire and ice this time. Let's try it that way. Start the deck. Okay. Game two. We do have a lot of interaction. Violent outburst into Brazen Bar. We're going to keep. We'll start with the breeding pool. Okay, they start again with an Urza Saga. Yikes into an amulet that's a recipe for disaster here's a breeding pool tapped no okay 
so if you're privy to my tutorial i actually made a tutorial where uh, an opponent can do a turn two kill it will start with two amulet of vigor okay right will it uh, bounce a urza oh okay okay cool i guess mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i'm just going to f6 here don't think we have anything much oh okay so what can we do that's another violent outburst okay they'll probably search for a start to the scalding tarn we do have two brazen borrowers to try and delay them okay that's one okay let's go and fire and ice the castle that's our only out here fire and ice put some ice on that Oof, not what we wanted to see but okay <laughs> i guess Mm, they can still tighten here. Didn't have a choice though. Okay. Okay, they got us. We're going to concede. Huh. Yeah, I think... I think that's worth Bone Crusher Giant. Okay, maybe... Maybe this is the recipe right here. Okay. Yes, we would like to play first. Nicely done. I think I'm going to keep this. Keep. <laughs> Hopefully, we get uh, our lands. Mulligan down to six. Here's a wooded foothills. We're going to pass. Mm -hmm. Okay, another Urza <clears throat> into Amulet. Oh, I should have countered that, but okay. End of turn. Here's a stomping ground tapped. Okay, this is a breeding pool. I will shock in this breeding pool, yes. I'm going to petty theft. Okay. Hmm. Is this the one we want to force? Do we want to force this? Yes, I think we need to force this. Okay. Verdant Catacombs. That's a shardless agent. Maybe I'll start with a shardless agent then next turn. Um can they go off next turn? I don't think so. So let's search for a island. Here's a shardless agent. Need to get some pressure on board. Cast without paying mana costs. That's the turn. Nice. They are greedy. So we can blood moon them next turn. Castle. Garen Brig into A. Dryad. Okay. Breeding pool. Show, show, show. That's a spire bluff. Let's attack with everything first. Here's a blood moon. Okay, they're gonna search for a forest. Blood moon effects comes in. Here's a land. Pass the turn. Reason means that if they destroy our blood moon next turn and we have Satolti as a response to their titan. That's why we wanted them to play the Dryad first before we uh, put the Blood Moon into effect. However, this one can produce any mana. The rest are islands uh, or mountains. Alright, that's how you beat uh, the Titan deck. It's all about tempo, guys, and making sure that our answers lines up to their threats. Make no mistake, they are the aggressor. We are the tempo deck, so that's how we play it. Alright, there you have it, guys. Uh, gave you quick uh, matches. So, as you could see, the deck is very, very straightforward. It's very linear. All you want to do is put in a big creature into play 
or two rhinos into play and then protect them with your counter spell either force of negation and your um cryptic command that being said the deck feel very very playable and um honestly i like the tempo better um i'll probably play this more in uh tournaments i can i can see myself playing this deck more in the tournaments all right that's it if you like my video give it a thumbs up and as always guys stay safe